Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp. We are in chapter one talking about the basics of software testing and now stepping into the next tutorial which is 1.2 why testing. In other terms we are talking about why testing is important and why we should conduct testing though we understand what is testing. So in this tutorial we'll be dipping dive into what exactly the why testing concept is all about. Now, certainly we do understand in our previous tutorials that what is testing in definition by objectives and several other basic terminologies which tells us that, all right, when it comes to a product, this is what we achieve in order by conducting testing. But why should we conduct testing? What's the need of it? What's the significance of it? What's the business values being added by a test process? It's very simple to understand when you talk about testing any product or using any product. Forget about testing now, being a common user day-to-day -day life when you pick up a product from the market and you start using it. And if you say at any point that, yeah, you know what, I'm just looking at or using a particular product which is of amazing quality. That means you are so satisfied, in fact, more delighted to use such products which are not giving you any problems. Now that product can be anything. You may be talking about your cell phones, you might be talking about an aircon, you might be talking about a washing machine at your home, or maybe a simple television, right? Anything which you use and it has zero complaints and has a great service, if in case you face any challenges, you say it's a quality product. Now in turn, if you look a little bit back before using the product, you can understand that there is a QA team in that organization which has assured you that this is a quality product. Now similarly, when it comes to our software products which we test and being a QA in an organization, we talk about reducing those number of issues, those number of defects or those quality errors which may result into a customer experience drawback. Now that's where testing is important or significant. In simple terms or other way around, I can also say that you can always think of, you know, boarding a flight where the captain says, hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain here. We are just cruising at 33,000 feet. I hope you had a pleasant flight and we'll be landing in a moment uh, at our destinations. Thanks for flying with us. And he just presses a button to open the wheel and that opening of wheel doesn't happen. You know what, you will realize the significance of testing at that point. And at the same time, if you jump into any other applications like making a transaction, a lovely page saying that, you know, just don't press cancel, refresh or close the window. The next page will be loaded soon. And that's it. It just happens in fraction of seconds. Right. And you get to the next page. Hey, your transaction is successful. But what if that particular page is still loading? for a few minutes, you know, you do understand there's something fishy happening, my payment can be stuck, right? And you do realize that these payment gateways are not so good, or this banking application is not good for making payments. And no, no, no unfortunate moment that if your transaction has failed, but the bank says your account has been debited with this many of amount, you do understand next time I don't have to use this application for making a transaction. So what, what do we you know, derive from all these examples that there's a QA team which assures you that when you take off, you are delighted to enjoy your vacation and you land safely. When you use a banking application, you make sure that the consumers using that application is secure, is, is making that transaction successfully and does not find any kind of challenges. Not only that, you talk about Gmail, you talk about Facebook, you talk about LinkedIn. If there are zero stability issues, if there are zero response time errors, then you do say that, oh, come on, this is a quality product. And we, we just do that. But have you ever looked back a step back and said, oh, come on, let's thank the QA behind the screen who has made it successful for us. Or they have def def defined that level of quality that I can always make use of this product without any risk. Now, that's what is the significance of testing. Testing is all about giving that experience with a quality attribute to the end users. So 
testing is a part of our day-to-day -day life. It's just that simple. You're using any product, you understand, or you're using it, you're testing it, right? And similarly, just like you know, buying a phone or buying a product from the shop, you do test it. It's that simple. But it's, it's supposed to be conducted, right? It's a significant part of testing is you don't buy a phone without checking it, without testing it, right? And even if it comes to any particular product, no matter which brand is selling it, be it XYZ brand or be it Apple iPhone, you still test it because you are the consumer who's going to make a payment for it. You are the one who's going to fight with this if it goes wrong. So you don't just blindly take a phone and say, okay, I just bought it. No, you try to operate the phone. You try to take a selfie. You try to play some games and test it yourself and then pay for it. So there is a difference between the real-time usage and the literal testing. Now, testing is a product before release. Testing a product before release is to assure that your consumers will have a quality experience and quality product at the end of the life cycle. So being a QA, you're responsible enough to test it as efficiently as possible so that the only reason is to identify the defects so that the consumers don't face a challenge. The zero or less number of defects which they get, the better your quality of the product is. There are many other factors like risk. So if you reduce the risk, you eliminate the risk. The consumers think that there was no problem at all in this product. But they didn't, don't even know that, okay, long back, there was an issue behind it. There were 100 defects. We resolved them all. Similarly, I would like to share an example with you here that what's the significance or what's the role of a person playing at the other side. You know, when you talk about flying on an aircraft, you always look uh, on the pilots and you always say thank you when you land at the destination. Have you ever wondered when you are climbing down the aircrafts, there are a few people running around the aircraft at the ground level and, you know, carrying those torches and checking every single part of the aircraft, you know, including the tires, the vanes, the engines, and lots of many other things. What do you think who these guys are? They are the one who is making sure that your flight is safe, right? You can fly. The next flight can go. They're just checking the readiness of the next departure. So I, I just want to say one thing here that when you talk about flying next time, instead of thanking the pilot, who is, of course, the person who controls the aircraft, take a moment, get down off the aircraft, and try thanking a ground staff who also assures you that yes, they are the one who keep taking crack of every single component of the aircraft before the pilot says, let's go, right? There is a ground staff which gives a thumbs up to the captain before push back, before the flight can take off. So it's just not that simple that a captain can start flying on his own though he or she is a captain. He or she needs an approval from the ground staff that we are clear for the takeoff. So look forward to that and understand the significance of testing because until unless you sign off, a product cannot go to the market at any cost. Because if QA is not confident about releasing a product further, how anyone else can be, right? So QA has that significance of giving that thumbs up to the project management or to the release management that yes, you can go ahead and push this product to the market. It is ready for the end users to make use of. Now that's what is called as why testing is important. Now this tutorial would have given you great intensive understanding of the significance of being a QA as well at the same time. So if you are a QA or you are looking forward to be a QA, don't forget your worth. Don't forget your value, which you are adding to somebody's life. You never know what type of product you will be involved in, what type of product you will be testing in future, which domain you will be working in. But understand one thing, that being a QA, you have somebody's life in your test cases. If your test cases are not strong enough, you miss out an important bug, a flight can crash. Not just being in airborne systems, medical industries as well. You talk about ventilators, you talk about any other equipments which are used in medical industries, hospitals, 
you are responsible for somebody's life, right? If it has a malfunction, it does not work appropriately, it may give a wrong figure, and probably we cannot give medicines to him at all, thinking that he's all fine, right? One small mistake. Similarly, the medicine industry, if I have a different composition for a medicine, person can certainly consuming, you know, he will be consuming poison instead of medicine if your compositions or a small mistake happens by the testers. Similarly, any other industry, you talk about your amusement parks, you go there to pay for getting thrilled, but not killed, right? If there is no maintenance, there are no QA staff testing the roller coaster, you know, duly every day, of course, there are accidents, and it could be fatal as well. And be QA, assure those consumers that, hey, you're going to enjoy this and ride safe, right? So that's what I want to keep it simple and to the point that QA significance is all about giving an end user an awesome experience and a quality product at the end of the day, right? So this is why testing is important or this is why we conduct testing on any product to make sure that a consumer does not face any problems while using it. And we try to detect as many problems as possible before releasing it into the market. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.